Hey everybody, quick review video on scientific notation for AP Physics 1. Scientific notation is used when we're trying to express really, really small numbers or really large numbers. And in physics, um, it just so happens that physicists study all parts of the universe. So we, in our class, might have really interesting numbers like the charge on one electron or the mass of one electron, which is really small. Or we may have a really large number, like, for example, the mass of Earth. So these would be instances where we'd be interested in dealing with scientific notation. In scientific notation, the main goal here is to express your number as um, some number between 1 and 10. And then we use a base 10 with an exponent. We call this number between 1 and 9 the mantissa here. And again, it's a number between 1 and 10 that we're aiming for. The exponent here will have 10 to the nth power here. Um, that n is, is some integer. So you've probably seen problems like this before, where you're being asked to write a huge number, like in this case, 23 million in scientific notation, or a really small number. Um, like the one given here in scientific notation. And so I'll come back to these um, in a moment. First, let's just talk about the rules here. Um, you're going to move the decimal place until the mantissa is a number between 1 and 2. If you end up moving the decimal place to the left to do that, then the exponent is a positive number. And if you move the decimal to the right in order to get that done, then the exponent is a negative number. Okay, so if we have to multiply numbers in scientific notation, it's really not um, a hard operation to do. And a lot of times um, I see people putting uh, numbers into their calculator when it probably would be easier for them to just do the work um, in their heads if they really understand how, how to do it. So let me give you an example here. When we're multiplying two numbers, in this case here, we've got 2 and 3 as the two mantissas, and then we have 10 to the fifth and 10 to the negative 2. Because the bases are the same, they're both tens for the bases, when we multiply these two numbers together, we can simply multiply these two mantissas together. So 2 times 3 is just going to give us 6. And then when we multiply um, the rest of the number, because they're both base 10, we're just adding the exponents. So 5 plus negative 2 makes this 6 times 10 to the third power. And if we wanted to keep the correct amount of significant digits, then this would be 6 times 10 to the third power. Taking a look at this one, again, the bases are the same here. So I can take 1.3 times 2, and that will give me 2.6 times 10 to, let's see, what power? You have an exponent of 4 and an exponent of 2. So if you sum the exponents, you get 10 to the 6th. Over here, 5.2 times 3. Let me just check here. These bases are the same. They're both 10. So I can do 5.2 times 3. That will give me 15.6 times 10 to the 7th. 10 to the negative 4. If I sum those two, I get 10 to the third power. So again, it's really, really easy to just take a look at the numbers. And once you become comfortable with scientific notation, you will end up saving yourself a little bit of time here instead of inputting all of these digits into your calculator. Now, if we divide numbers in scientific notation, we're going to be um, doing something similar, we're going to divide the two mantises that we see, but we'll actually be subtracting the exponents. So when I look at the first example here, I have 2.1 divided by 3. And the 2.1 divided by 3 will give me 0 0.7. And then I have the same base 10 here, so if I have 5 minus a negative 2, I'm just going to do this out on the side here, 5 minus a negative 2 is like having 5 plus a positive 2. So this would be times 10 to the 7th power. 
Now, this number, as you see, that you get at for your answer, 0 0.7 times 10 to the 7th, if you wanted to put this in, I guess, proper scientific notation, you want this mantissa to be between 1 and 9, um, I don't really see a reason why you would need to do that. Maybe if the multiple choice items don't match up with what you have, and you you know you'd need to look a little bit closer, but most of the time you'd be able to leave your answer like this. If I want to do this in proper scientific notation, I would need to have the decimal over here that gives me seven, and then in te instead of ten to the seventh, it would be times ten to the sixth. Okay, if I look over here, I've got one point eight. Uh, times 10 to the fourth divided by 2 times 10 to the second. Well, 1.8 divided by 2 is going to give you 0 0.9. So for the mantissa, you have 0 0.9. And then 10 to the fourth, and we're going to subtract these exponents, 10 to the uh, second. So this means we've got 0 0.9. Sorry about that. 0 0.9 times 10 to the second. Over here, the bases are the same, so we can simply subtract the exponents. Let's take care of the mantises first. 9 divided by 3 gives us 3 times 10 to the, that's going to be 7 minus negative 4. So that's the same thing as having like plus a positive 4 and 10 to the 11th power. Okay, adding numbers in scientific notation is a little bit different um, and it's definitely not as fun as multiplying and dividing them. If you want to add two numbers in scientific notation then both numbers must have the same exponent so they both have to be to the same nth power. If in the problem you're given that's not the case then you must change the numbers so that they are the same and then you can add the mantises together. So I have two examples here um, one in which they are the same and one where they're not. So let's take a look at the difference here. If we want to add these two numbers, 2.1 times 10 to the fifth plus 4.7 times 10 to the fifth, here we have 10 to the fifth and 10 to the fifth. So this is like a good to go problem. All we're going to do is simply add up the mantises. So if we add up 2.1 and 4.7, we get 6.8 and it's going to just simply be times 10 to the fifth. Okay. This one is a little bit, is going to be, give us a little bit more trouble here. 2.5 times 10 to the third and 3.0 times 10 to the second. So because these exponents don't match, we can't simply add the mantises together. We can um, change one of these exponents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first number 2.5 times 10 to the third and I'm going to make it um, let's say 20 I don't know why that keeps happening to me 25 times 10 to the second. Now if we imagine this 2.5 times a thousand right would give you 2,500 and 25 times 100 is the same. Okay, so this number that I've written here is the same as the original one that's given. I'm just writing it in a form where the exponent is um, 2. So now if I want to take this number and add it to 3.0 times 10 to the second, now I have a case where these exponents are the same and I can simply add up the mantissas. So this is 25 and 3, so this gives you 28 times 10 to the second. I would normally leave my answer like this, but if you had some case where you needed to report your answer in scientific notation, again you'd want this first number to be between 1 um, and 9.9, .9, so we'd have 2.8 times 10 to the third. All right, if we need to subtract numbers in scientific notation, um, again, both numbers must have the same exponent. If you're given a problem in which the exponents are not the same initially, then you need to do a little bit of work um, to make it happen. And then after that, you simply subtract the two mantises. So again, we've got two examples here. In the first example, you'll see the exponents are the same. So we can just simply subtract the mantises. We have 4 and 
um, 2.5. So 4 minus 2.5 will be 1.5 times 10 to the fifth. Down here, slight problem, 3 and 2. These are not the same exponents. So there's a couple of different ways I can do this. Um, I'm just going to take the larger exponent again and just write the same number but in a different way. So instead of 1 times 10 to the third, which is 1,000, I'm going to write it as some number times 10 to the second and get 1,000 out of that. So if I do 10, for example, times 10 to the second, I could get myself 1,000 as well. So that works. And I'd like to subtract that from the second one that's given. And now I've got two exponents that match, so I can simply just subtract these um, two mantises here. And I get 7 times 10 to the second. If you needed this to be reported in the same number of significant digits as was given, it would be 7.0 times 10 to the second. I hope you found this brief review helpful. If you have any questions on scientific notation or any part of your summer assignment, send me an email and I'd be happy to help.